Hello and welcome to another Kit Plus TV show. Today we are continuing our series of open gear discussions and are delighted to welcome Jesse Foster from Multidyne. Hi, Jesse. Welcome to the show. Hi, now, thanks for having us. Normally we'd be catching up at NAB at this uh, you know, this time of year. Sadly, that wasn't to be this year. But uh, perhaps to start off, you can give us a rundown of what we would have been talking to you about at the show. Excellent. Yeah, in the open gear context, uh, we were going to have a technology demonstration of a ST2110 gateway that we have um, hosted on, you know, a range of our open gear cards. Uh, but specifically, um, the OG4600 product is really uh, our flagship solution in the open gear space uh, currently. I uh, like to kind of just give an overview mm -hmm. of the range as it stands today. So down in the bottom right hand corner is the ST2110 uh, gateway products. It'll be multi-channel 3G and 12G versions. Uh, that will be out uh, probably the beginning of uh, next year um, in the lab currently. So um, you see a range of uh, audio conversion, uh, A to D, D to A's. Uh, we got a really popular line of distribution amps, um, including you know balanced, uh, AES, unbalanced AES, and balanced analog, which are really uh, popular uh, okay. gap fillers in yeah, the yeah. open gear range. Um, but uh, the most exciting part of the range, that, in my opinion, is our fiber gear, is the uh, OG4600 that you see there. Um, what that does for us is really brings the camera adapter line. So we have a really comprehensive uh, transport solution for production signals, uh, in essence, uh, that's in different form factors in open gear. But this is the open gear answer to that capability uh, feature set that we have in other platforms. Um, so that's the, the full up rear module that you see there. Uh, it essentially yeah. uh, allows for, uh, let's see, um, this is a cascade application, so we can do onboard CWDM muxing and get 18, 12 GSDIs on one fiber with no external muxes needed. And that's representative of a, uh, a version of the OG4600. It's a scalable platform. Uh, you don't need to get features that you don't uh, need for a particular application. Um, but at the high end stuffed uh, card here, you see it's, it's very comprehensive in that it can do uh, eight analog or uh, four AES pair bi-directional, does gigabit ethernet, genlock, time code, serial data, tally, and then up to four 12G uh, or 6G, 3G uh, SDIs in unidirectional or bi-directional configuration. So this card um, is also compatible with uh, other versions of products in our, in our system. So this is um, a very popular uh, use case that we have going with uh, Google, Apple, you know, multiple, you know, high-end customers all the way down yeah. to schools and municipalities. Um, so the VB product yeah. is uh, it's a versatile bricks uh, modular card platform that you can get up to ten cards in the VB10 or six in the VB6. So it's again it's scalable just like the Open Gear card. You can just really pick and choose what you want. And for this application for PTZ. Uh, we have a, a new rear module that is standard width, which is you know two slots in the open gear platform out of 20. So you can get 10 of these cards in a two RU frame. And in the rack room, you get all of the benefits of open gear when it comes to you know dashboard control and monitoring. You get redundant power, additional cooling capacity. Um, this card actually will take Genlock from the Genlock bus in the open gear frame and single gen lock into the frame and we can get 10 uh, discrete gen lock transports to 10 separate cameras, you know, all from that gen lock bus that's okay. internal to the frame. So really high density, really popular in these kind of next generation venues where there's a lot of PTZ robotic uh, infrastructure um, that, that 10 cards in one, two RU frame is really popular for us. Um, so and then further to that, message uh same project actually we have our light box system which is a pelican case ruggedized um you know for field use 
all going back to the rack room. And mm-hmm. then you could even patch this because this is just a single mode fiber. All this stuff goes bi-directional uh, with this this card set and these you know companion products. So in the patch bay, you know, you can really optimize what you can pull off with the, the fewer amount of cards to multiple locations around the campus and such. So um, so that's the light box side of it. And then on the other end, I mentioned uh, the camera adapter range uh, is really where we pioneered all of this uh, signal transport technology. Uh, we can now commingle the camera adapter with the open gear card. And the camera adapter is really popular uh, currently in the market for making digital cinema cameras like the Sony Venice or um, the Komodo, Red Komodo on another end of it, or Panasonic Vericam LT, really all these large format sensor cameras are being used yeah. for live multicam yeah. production. And we have a dedicated 2RU base station, uh, but if you wanted to go open gear, you can get three systems in 2RU uh, and you get the single mode power uh, fiber extension, you know, you do 10 kilometers easy, right? And then if you wanted to power your camera, then you hit our juice platform, which then turns into hybrid fiber and energizes that SMPTE 311 fiber okay. uh, and power the camera and all the accessories. <clears throat> and that capability is available in the VB and the light box. So uh, what you see here with that dual fiber application is, uh, is available across the line. So. The 4600 is extremely popular um, based on its flexibility. It's finding its way into a ton of different applications and rental market and, and so forth. So that that's one of the main things I would have been focused on in NAB if we were there. Yeah, so I, I, I can see from what you, you've said there but that by leveraging what Open Gear offers, you can really expand the opportunities in a rack room and a facility, can't you? Absolutely. Yeah. Cause the companion to VB to VB like we have redundant power coming for the VB, but currently it's, it's not there. Uh, the density that you can achieve with the open gear frame and 10 cards in a single frame, uh, is really popular in the system design side of things for density and redundancy and, uh, all the things that open gear does really well. It brings that set of attributes to, you know, the camera extension and everything. So the open gear, uh, we were the ninth open gear partner, uh, you know, over 10 years ago, it's a key focus yeah. of our design efforts based on it, you know, it's increasing popularity and, uh, and what it brings to the customer. And are any of these systems in use yet? Have you got any, any, any anything out there? Absolutely. Uh, multiple systems, you know, Bexel, NEP, um, yeah. you know, truck companies, um, cool. like I mentioned, uh, Apple and, um, Google, Google's just being shipped now, but, um, quite a few applications. This card's been around for in the 12 G uh, version has been around about two years. And before that there's a three G version available. So definitely widely deployed. So I think last time um, we spoke in depth with Multidime was probably way back at NAB uh, 2019. And I, I always always enjoy going to Central Hall and seeing everything that Multidime have got to offer because you, you do offer so many different cars for so many different solutions. Is is there anything else um, that, you know, you would have been shouting about this year at NAB? Um, really, yeah. Uh... Add into the range that that we touched on previous there, we have a new 12 GDA coming out and it'll have a passive uh, relay protection on the rear module, which is a unique offering in the open gear line for 12 G distribution amp with passive uh, relay. So um, other than that, the uh, ST2110 uh, demo uh, would have been there. Um, and all of this is uh, you know available in the in the new year, uh, January timeframe, we'll be able to do demos and uh, ship things out. And I'm doing customer visits, you know, as often as possible. I'm in the Los Angeles area. So if anybody's interested in any of these uh, for a demo or just a in-depth uh, run through, I'm available. Mm. Just before we end, where can people find out more? Um, if they want to find out more before, hopefully we see you um, in Vegas in April, 2022. Yeah, that'd be multidime.com uh, for videos and application drawings and data sheets, 
or uh, email sales at multidime.com for more info. Excellent. Thank you very much indeed. And thanks to Media Proxy for their support at Kit Plus TV. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.